you know, we're, <coughs> we're talking about the procedure, function, recipe, algorithm, uh, convert, which uh, takes as input a, uh, a GNFA, and as output it delivers the corresponding regular expression. That, uh, and we're now starting on the formal description of that procedure, how, how it works. And remember the very end of the previous session, um, point one, uh, describing convert G, convert of G. Uh, one, let K be the number of states in G, in your G and FA, has K states. Right? Now, uh, we mentioned before it's recursive, this, uh, this procedure, this, this recipe is recursive, it calls itself within itself, and to stop the infinite looping, uh, each time it calls itself, uh, it's inputting a G, that's one state smaller, than the previous call. And so the, these successive calls, you know, successive uses of this uh, conversion program, if you like, um, procedure uh, called convert, uh, each time it gets used or called, uh, the size of your G, the size of your GNFA goes down by one. Now eventually uh, it'll get down to two, okay, uh, K, the number of states in your G and FA will get down to two. Right? So now imagine you're in you're in uh, the convert, you're you're inside the instructions, the pro the program, the procedure, the recipe, the algorithm, okay? And uh, you check you check if K equals two. This is this is the check that stops the infinite regress. Okay? So if K if K if k equals two, the number of states in your GNFA is is two, then your GNFA, your G in other words, uh, it must have a start state and an accept state, and that's it. Okay? No, no, no other states, and therefore just a single arrow, um, transition arrow between the start state and the uh, accept state, and that will be labelled with uh, a regular expression R. Okay? And it's that, that regular expression R that returns, that, in other words, uh, the, uh, this algorithm outputs that, that value, yeah? that, that R. Okay? So return, or in other words, you know, output the regular expression R. Okay? Now if it's uh, not, if K is not 2, uh, so it be greater than 2, uh, what you then do is you basically you do the ripping. Right? You pull out one of the states and you repair the, all the labels on the transition arrows in such a way, in the way we described in the earlier session, uh, you know, with that union um, phenomenon, and so, which is sort of described here. So, so what's going on now is when k is larger than 2, you pull out one of the states and then uh, you call convert again. But this time, uh, you by, by ripping out a state, you've now created a, a G that is uh, one state smaller. I call that G dashed. Okay? G G dashed. So that that's your GNFA that has been ripped. In other words, one state's been pulled out, and all the labels on the remaining uh, transition arrows have been modified in, in the way we described in the previous section. So uh, this, that's, what, that's what this is describing, is, is the, the actual details of the ripping, right? And, uh, well, let's, let's go through it, okay? Uh, so just, you know, randomly, now it's, it's an, a GNFA, right? It's non-deterministic, so you've got all these all, these all going on at, uh, in parallel, so to speak, because uh, you know it's non-deterministic, you know, making copies of machines and whatever. All right, so uh, ra randomly choose a, uh, a rip, 
And so you'll be choosing all all possibles because it's an N G N F A. Um, uh, and of course, this uh, state that you're going to rip uh, amongst uh, those left uh, will not be, you know, it won't be the start state or the, the accept state. Okay. So G dashed, that's that will be, as I was saying just a bit earlier, that will be the uh, GNFA that results uh, from the repeat. You know, once you've pulled out the the, the, the Q rip. Okay. And and G dash's formal description will, will be this. So, so Q dash. So Q dash now will be one state less than G. It will have one state less than G. Because right? it's G dash. So uh, well, you can see it here. So uh, where is it? Q. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be, it'll be Q uh, the, before the ripping minus the, the state that got ripped out. Uh, thrown out. Okay? So Q dash will just be Q minus the, that state. So it's there. Uh, same. Um, well, I'll, I'll come on to that in a minute. It's, it's all this stuff. Uh, these these remain the same. All you know, through all the calls uh, because um, you, know, you you're not ripping out the, the start state or the accept state. So they they will always be the same each time you call or use the convert of G, right? Uh, let's see. Okay, so your your Q dashed. So you 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 go you're going to call convert again with a uh, uh, GNFA that's one state less. Yeah, said that several times, right? So we're now uh, we're going to pass the formal definition of G dashed. Uh, in other words, um, the formal description of uh, the GNFA with one state less, in other words, G dash. Okay, so what 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 are G dash's uh, uh, transition functions? Okay. Um, So we need to we need to describe what uh, delta dashed is. You know, the, the, uh, so between any two states, uh, QI and QJ, uh, delta dash between those two states is defined as this. Now you've seen this before. We saw that uh, in what two sessions? Two sessions back. Right? That's the that's the corrected uh, label that you put on the transition arrow between state uh, QI and state QJ. Right? This, this, okay? Uh, you know, notice it's the uh, delta dash. So that you're defining the transition function of these two states, just any, any two states, as, as this. And then you need to go on and define what R1, R2, R3, and R4 are. Well, they're, they're defined here. Okay? Now, notice uh, we're not using delta dashed here, just the deltas, okay, because we're, we're talking about uh, the label on the transition arrows before you rip, okay, before you rip. So it won't, it won't be delta dash, it'll just be deltas. And, uh, well, R1, well, you can't see it on the previous diagram, what was R1? Well, that was the transition arrow that went from QI to Q rip. QI to Q rip, so that makes sense. You know, the from, the to, the from state, the to state, okay? From state to to state, from state to to state, and so on. R2, what was that? Uh, looking at the, uh, R2 was the looping back from rip to rip. Okay, so that makes sense. R3, looking at the, pre the diagram, I, I, I can see it, you can't. Um, you can go back two sessions if you want to see it. Now R3, that was the uh, label on the transition arrow from rip to QJ, rip to QJ, makes sense. And R4, now this is important, we'll come, we'll come, come back to this, uh, plays an important role in what's to come. Uh, R4 was, uh, that was the uh, label on the transition arrow from, 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 QI to QJ, QI to QJ. Okay, all right, so, uh, so you've defined this transition function 
that, that's part of the formal definition of G dashed. That's the um, GNFA that's uh, one state smaller, has one less state. And you pass that on to convert. And so you just keep doing this. Now, this is the end of your recipe, if you like. And uh, so it'll keep getting called and get called within a call, within a call, within a call, multiple levels, until eventually it uh, gets into uh, a convert g dashed where k equals 2. And then it will then return this result. And, uh, and that, that will then ripple through all the other calls. You know, I won't go into that. It's not, a, not really electron recursion. <laughs> so eventually, uh, the, the, first, the, the top level, the first level uh, call to convert will uh, give you the final result, which, which, is, which is this.